welcome to a new video in this video we will be talking a little bit about the arena in terms of space-time arena now the first point is how do you get invited to the space-time arena and what is the space-time arena the space-time arena is let's call it a special arena that only is open on the weekend for two days right as you can see it ends in one day 22 hours let's get more info it ends every sunday right so it opens on saturday and sunday commanders that are ranked the highest in the daily tournament are the ones that get an invitation now what does that mean right how does the invitation look the invitation is simply this, an email that you will get uh, get in your mail is telling you to participate in space-time arena, right? And then it will open and you can participate basically. So what is the ranking that's needed in the daily tournament? Technically, you have to be from the top 100 in the daily tournament, as you can see. It only shows a specific amount of people, sorry, in the top 50 or 100. Don't remember actually, but I think in the top 50, right? Or 100. Doesn't make a difference if you reach the top 50 anyway. Now, as you can see, all of these lovely players have been invited to the Space Time Arena, right? Do correct me if I'm wrong related to the ranking that gets you an invitation to the space-time arena right you can see its details here now let's battle and look at what the space-time arena is exactly and let's look at the number of people that got invited i think it will give a very good insight and how many players based on their daily ranking do get an invitation okay it's 100 so the top 100 ranking players in the daily tournament, right, are the ones that get an invitation. In the daily tournament, it only shows the top 50. Now, once you got the invitation and it's time to battle, let's look at the team. You need to select the three teams with the starship, Black Samurai, Dimension Hunter, etc, etc. Then you save your lineup, right? Then you go to battle. You have a number of free chances that you can use them during these two days. That's the only amount you get, actually, the free chances. So you do not consume diamonds. You cannot do not consume lottery tickets or anything like this. It's an amount of free challenges that you get. You get approximately 10 or 11, I believe. I've used a couple of them. Now, let's do an actual battle and look at how it looks, actually. When you click on battle, you can see the two players with their three team lineups. You can also see the sum total of each team's power. As you can see on the left hand, I have 5 million the right hand, 2 million in the first lineup. The second one, 1 million, etc, etc. Then you click on battle. Now, as you can see, each player has the ability to choose the heroes and the battleship that will go in which lineup, basically. First or second or third. Uh, each team will battle for the first round. I'm gonna skip. Then it shows you the current score of how many heroes fell, got defeated, and who won. Winning is by elimination of heroes, not only winning the round. Right? So as you can see, I have six heroes that won. Next. We're gonna skip also. It's supposed to be three rounds, but based on the number of heroes and the winning, I won. The ranking ch uh, changes after you win or lose a battle. So now we're currently at, at rank 
33 let's go to rank 9 and look at it as you can see 5 million 5 million 4 million in comparison to my 1 million let's ignore this one let's go to 15 rank 15 pretty much not gonna work with the power difference and the hero awakening rank 22 yep that's gonna work let's battle full set of heroes without anyone being defeated now this is considered the win now the ranking is going to change as you noticed it was 33 now it became 22 now what's the point of doing this this is the point the rewards the rewards follow a simple arrangement of if you're ranked in the let's call it the top 300 or 301 you get three scrolls and 200 diamonds 201 between it and 300 five between 100 and 200 51 and 100 21 and 50 there is this is where we are currently positioned as ranking 22 between the 21 and 50 now if our ranking goes up as you can see 11 to 20 11 to 20 get get this reward 4 to 10 get this the third that wins when the time ends of the space time arena gets these lovely lovely rewards and a title second same more rewards and a title all right you can also see if you click on god's fights or fight other players and how their battle looks by just clicking on play sometimes it works other times it just gives you something like this here you can see the overall of the damage in for each round that was caused by the players to each other now this is god's fight there is also records if you click on it you can see the battles that you've kinda competed against other players and the date and the time and who won and who lost and you can click again on play you'll only get this currently before you could see the entire battle here you can see the damage the total damage and the heroes health you click on team if you want to align your team line up and change it including the spaceship or the starship attack ship let's call it attack ship change the factions etc etc and you can just click on this which reverts all heroes in the lineup now if you exit clicking back without saving it's all good let's make a modification here right we're gonna give you the group attack ship and the ship of faces top 100 commanders in daily tournament will be invited so it's only by invitation through the game itself the system all right thank you so much for watching this video i hope this gave you an introduction to what space time arena is and i'll see you in the next one have a great day ahead